The basement. The basement. The basement. And we're back. I'm Stan. Hi, I'm Kevin. And we're continuing Metroid Prime, and there's the robot over there. He's not saying anything, though. Beep, bop, boop. Words. So, yeah, we're, we're still recording in audio, yeah. sitting across the room from uh, my, my computer, which is running the video because the <laughs> audio got lost. And to make it worse, we recorded this uh, a month ago, so we have no idea what we said. It could have been hilarious. It could have been the best audio work we ever did. Not that that takes much. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, so we're replacing it right now. That's what we're doing. So we have, we haven't been doing a whole lot of talking about the game. No. Uh, and also, in other notes, uh, if you watch the whole series, there may be points where we're like, yeah, we just we talked about that earlier. <laughs> yeah, we didn't. I mean, we did, but it didn't save. So you're just gonna have to <laughs> have to play along with it. Scan it, uh, right, Samus. So, uh, Kevin. Yes. What Kevin? happened tonight? Uh. <laughs> We watched Fast and the Furious. And what happened before that? Uh, I, uh, Mark said something about cardboard and muttered it 800 times. Yeah, and what happened, <laughs> well, what was going on while that happened? Uh, you were in the basement? Yeah, there's something else. Belleville was in the basement? Uh, this has nothing to do with anybody in this place. I mean, well, it has stuff to do with you. Has stuff to do with me. Ah, Kevin's favorite, the Minnesota Wild, oh. played some amazing hockey. Come on, <laughs> why you gotta do that to me? <laughs> oh, oh do they I look do terrible. It. Oh, and I'm wearing the hat. They yeah, I, it they was bad. Not good, <laughs> it was not a good game. You know, just keep your hopes up. I mean, it's their first game with a new head coach and. I, have, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I, that's, that's the only excuse. They, they, they're they terrible. No excuses. They did not play great hockey. I mean, they scored two goals, but it's not like St. Louis dominated the flow of that game the entire time. <laughs> when I stopped watching in the first period, it was 12 shots on goal for the Blues, yeah, two shots on goal for the Wild. <laughs> so, yeah. It was not. See, I was trying to block that out. You just had to bring it back. Yup. It's like post-traumatic stress disorder. If just I bring it back, man. And I'm out of tea. And I'm going to have to drink fucking mango. Damn it. Titanfall 2 mango. I was going to say, is it the cherry over there? Oh, yeah. You're going to drink yeah. my cherry. <laughs> That's Mark's. Uh, it's mine now. <laughs> <laughs> he left, left it here. Do you think there's going to be any left next Thursday when he comes over? I don't think so. You mean any left tomorrow? <laughs> yeah, there'll be some left tomorrow. <laughs> Unless, uh, when you go home, me and Robot record a bunch of Wind Waker. <laughs> mm. If that happens, then there won't be. That's true. I'll leave it. I have, like, eight cases at home already, so... <laughs> oh. Yeah. Doing some elevator work here. It's This is, like, the third time I've watched this in, yeah. in two months, so... I'm getting very, very familiar with it. <laughs> Something's happening. Oh, I wonder if she's related to Darth Vader. Mm. Elevator? Get it? Yeah, yeah, I did. Get it? I did. We're not even talking. <laughs> so what happens oh. is Mar Kevin gets tired and becomes Mark. Uh, I'll have you know that I was doing puns before Mark was our friend. Well, they just You know, it's kind of weird to think that I've only known Mark for like five years. Yeah. I mean, he's, he's so just, touchy and feely. He's, he's well, been here forever. Yeah, well, and he's just like, <laughs> like it's ultimately it's just whatever. He's just one of the guys. It's like he's been around as long as everybody has. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, how long have you been around, Robot? Uh, I started working. Because I, I hired Robot the first time at McDonald's in Hibbing, <laughs> and then then he was homeless, and my wife <laughs> suggested that he come and live with us. That's true. Which is weird, that she was just like, yeah, 
have this weird guy that I don't know that you work with come live with us. And I'm like, all right. <laughs> so I hadn't really hung out with Robot at that point. Then Robot lived with me for a while. Yeah. Then my wife kicked him out again and he was homeless. <laughs> <laughs> only, only for like two weeks. Yeah, it wasn't that long. I mean, it was, and then that it was still snowing outside. Like yeah, it was. Ever. It was cold though. <laughs> that was that was the worst part of it. It was like it was early <laughs> April. It was still like thirty below at night. Oh. And she was like, I don't care if he has to live on the streets. <laughs> like, oh, that's brutal. He's worn out his welcome. <laughs> and then it uh, was cold enough that I was refrigerating food in my car. <laughs> Then that summer, we found Robot the Awesome Apartment. Oh god, and that was... Things only went up from there. Yeah, that's true. And Robot was the last person to live with me, actually. Oh. I thought you were going to end up living with me. I, Kevin. Th- I thought so, too. I was like, hmm. My wife's probably not going to be too happy, but <laughs> I got a sneak in suspicion Kevin's going to be sleeping in the basement. <laughs> <laughs> but it did not come to that. Nope. Oh, the interesting things that happen. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Ooh, I decided to scan the fruit bugs there. Mm-hmm. Splash my face a little bit there. It, through the years, I've had a lot of people live with me, actually. The robot lived with me. Siebert lived with me. Wes lived with Wes, me. Wes, yeah. I remember the good old Cheeto sandwich, Wes. <laughs> Mm, Cheeto oh, Cheeto sandwiches. Cheeto sandwiches comes from the fact that we found a loaf of bread, <laughs> and we were looking around for his. We were looking for his mouse. This is what we're doing. <laughs> and uh, we find the loaf of bread. Like we, a we, computer mouse. Well, right? yeah, the computer mouse, not like a mouse <laughs> mouse. So we find we find his loaf of bread. We move that out of the way, and the only other things he has in the in the entire house, like. I was living in, it was at my mom's house in the basement, and there isn't a refrigerator or anything down there, it was just, it's a, it was a pseudo apartment for me, I mean, whatever, but, yeah. so he had that, and he had a bag of Cheetos, and some mustard, and that was it, <laughs> and so we're like, what is he having, Cheeto sandwiches, then interestingly enough, we found his computer mouse in the loaf of bread. <laughs> I haven't seen Wes for a while again. Yeah, I haven't even heard from him. Either. I bumped into him at the gas station about a month ago, but it's been a while. I haven't seen him in years, I don't think. Yeah. Wes was always good stuff. Yeah, I can't imagine too much is different with him. No, Wes is Wes. Robot, I'm assuming you see Wes more than we uh, see Wes. Oh, he seems to be doing pretty good. He's still living at my old place where I was living at. The uh, one down on first? Yeah, on second avenue. Yeah, or yeah, second. Is, well, is, is it's still a little well scary? First. Still scary, Wes? Mm, he's really. just Wes. He's not that scary. I mean, I'm sure if you got drunk, you'd be just Drunk Wes is a little scary. Yeah. Drunk Wes is frightening. Hey, we're saving him. We're going to end the episode here. Okay. Was, was, so, uh, thanks for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll be talking to you again in about two seconds. See you in a minute. Oh, okay. We should totally put this in anyway. You probably should. <laughs> <laughs> We just fucked up. Oh, it's that guy. Oh. Remember when you fought him for like three hours? Oh, oh did you really? Don't remind me of Oh, no. During our live stream. Yeah, during the live stream. Oh. We're both just tired as fuck. And he's fighting Stony Dude. Stoner the boner. <laughs>